Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick little speed test between the LG G3 uh, and the Galaxy A5. Uh, seeing as though these two devices can be had for about the same type of price across the world now. Uh, and uh, also the uh, Snapdragon 410 uh, in the uh, Galaxy A5 is a 64-bit architecture. Uh, going up against the 32-bit Snapdragon 801 in the LG G3. So it's quite interesting to see how it uh, performs against the so-called high-end processor. Uh, and we can just start off by turning both devices on at the same time. I have a strong feeling the A5 will be very fast at starting up based upon my findings with some other Snapdragon 410 devices and we are in as I suspected worthwhile mentioning this is uh, KitKat still no official lollipop as far as I'm aware there was one small update which was pushed out but it wasn't lollipop uh, this is uh, lollipop obviously latest and greatest from LG and you uh, can see here the A5 will get you going a bit quicker but it's not a huge issue uh, it's a bit more fanboyish that particular test but you can see here some of the things that do matter such as how fast each device handles the app opening starting off with some eBay and uh, we can see from that straight in there on the A5 which is quite a nice start again a bit quicker there on the A5 oh G3 a bit quicker there strikes back Looks like it's going to be the A yeah. There you go, A5 again. Wow, doing really well here. Uh, and uh, can try the uh, Play Store again. I saw a little bit quicker loading, I think, on the A5, but not a huge difference with that. I've already done that. I'm going mad. Let's try uh, Groupon. That was about the same. Not a huge uh, difference there. About Quidco. Straight in there, I think, on the G3. Very nice. What about uh, the basic functions such as your dialer about the same no issues there and uh, clock good old clock where are you gone there we go so about the same there uh, and Hot UK deals about the same again and uh, what about your web browsing a bit quicker there on the A5 and uh, we can see here uh, some performance on phone killer 
website Wow, very quick there on the A5, very nice performance here. But will it be killed? I've got a new router, you may have noticed, because my old one was absolutely terrible from Plusnet. Uh, I think that uh, the uh, A5 looked a bit quicker there. And oh no, Spock is uh, he's gone. Rest in peace, Spock. Not a big S Star Trek fan, but he was uh, iconic. So about the same there. Not too different. Both of these have very smooth backs and it do, does make the phones move around like hell. We can see the uh, Sensationalist Media website. G3 looked a bit quicker there. Both load the page though, very nice. There's no way in hell you'd think that the A5 runs uh, Snapdragon 410. It's a more like a uh, higher end device in terms of its performance. G3 again though. Is the dress, uh, is it blue or is it white? Personally I think it's, uh, it's kind of like a uh, cyan. But it is a weird story. And we can go back to the home page, and we can see there very nice and quick on the A5. So it's a bit of a mixed performance, I think, in total, uh, but it certainly keeps up with the Snapdragon 801, uh, considering it's a more entry level processor. Uh, I can just finish off with anything else that I've missed, such as camera both of them in there straight away which is very nice indeed and uh, what else have we got that people might use um, mm, ch -ch -ch -ch. speed test seemed a bit quicker there on the A5 not by a huge amount, but every little helps. And uh, I think, uh, oh yeah, let's not forget settings. Good old settings. Wow, straight in there on the A5. So I'm going to give it to the A5, I think, in terms of the app opening. It looks like. Uh, it's uh, very fast in regards to that. Maybe it's because it's a newer device uh, or 64 bit architecture, who knows? But uh, it does seem to be very fast for that particular thing. Let's just see how it handles a bit of multitasking, which uh, often is a disappointment on Android but uh, both of them reloaded there so not a good start Ooh, straight in there on the A5 we'll count that as one and Groupon about the same no real difference there back to Chrome Ooh, this one kept it uh, there which is going to give it 1-1 one, one. and LinkedIn about uh, the sa that one did go in a bit quicker but they both reloaded so it's disqualified it's not getting a point and again both reloaded 
but they do kind of load the page at the same time so it's a very nice performance from the A5 wow A5 eh? straight in there I'm going to give it a point for that 2-1 and the Uber wow again I think it's 3-1 uh, here I think uh, the A5 is really killing the G3. Sorry, G3 owners. You know, I love the device myself, but I can't argue with the uh, this device. Worthwhile mentioning that uh, this is a 2 gigabyte RAM. I'm going to give that a point to the G3, so that's 3 2. And uh, 2 gigs of RAM obviously is going to help with the multitasking. Wow, very quick there. Going to give it to the A, the uh, A5. I'm going mad now. So uh, what are we on four two, I think. Uh, what else we got? I think I'm running out of apps now. Oh, that was a quicker there. So I say it's probably about four three, uh, and to the A to the A five. So uh, very nice performance there when it comes to the multitasking in general. And uh, can just uh, have a quick look at the uh, speed test result on both of them. So uh, we can see that both of them have strong Wi-Fi connected to my TP Link. pretty cool router by the way for those of you struggling with ISP supplied routers so uh, we can see here G3 same type of ping but the G3 seems to have done well there so I'm going to give it to the G3 and the upload very nice indeed another one for clarity and resolve Wow, G3 again for the download. Well, it seems that the A5 for the upload. One more. Come on, A5, I'm rooting for you. Here we go. Nice download from the A5. And the upload for the G3. Oh, it's very close. Oh, oh, G3, just by a little bit. Uh, so quite mixed results there, and uh, you can draw your own conclusions. I think they're both quite decent, though, nevertheless. And we can see the GPS test. Both run high accuracy, I've checked. Very nice activity here. Lots more than the Note 4. So it looks like we've got uh, 
10 in use on the A5 and quite a lot more activity here which looks better than the G3 so I'm going to give it to the A5 very nice indeed and uh, we can also do a very quick and 2-2 two -two to round the video off if I've got and 2-2 two -two on here oh come on say that I've got it or oh, maybe I've not got it just a second right so I've got it on now and we can just do a quick and 2-2 two -two. And uh, you can see I've already done one on the G3, and it certainly does better than the G3 on KitKat. But we can see how it compares to the A5 here. And uh, off we go. So, uh, again, a little video break. So, uh, we're about halfway through here, and the A5 is really powering ahead. Uh, which is quite weird really, I wouldn't expect that from a more entry level processor uh, but we can see a massive discrepancy here on the uh, test which is very nice indeed and we should be getting to the graphical section where we can see the frame rate on both of them Wow, the A5, a eh? It's just powering its way through this. Oh, that's a bit laggy. That looks... Uh, what's the frame rate on that? Can you see that? like 4.3 that's really weird maybe it's some sort of not non optimized driver for the graphics I think the graphics are Adreno 306 or something something weird that I've not seen before but you can definitely see there could be an issue with the uh, smoothness of the graphics but that looks a little bit better but definitely not as smooth as the G3 which is like butter and the G3 is on like uh, 25 odd for the frame rate so very nice indeed uh, but the A5 has finished now and uh, you can see here it uh, scores 21,405 uh, which is uh, very respectable considering it is as I said an entry-level processor uh, and uh, it's obviously not going to be quite up there with the you know Snapdragon 805s and things like that but still very interesting uh, result there and that it finished faster than this even though this is like on top so uh, I think that's a bit less than it got last time, uh, 40,513, it's quite weird there, but uh, I'll certainly test out some of the graphical uh, things on the A5 a little bit more, just to see how the performance is, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, we're going to leave it about there I think, so that we can wrap off the video a little bit uh, nicely, and uh, not... Uh, drag on for too long so uh, I hope you found this uh, informative I certainly did uh, there's no way in hell I thought that the A5 would be able to keep up with the G3 uh, but in many aspects it does seem to uh, and even surpass the G3 which is uh, amazing and it's a particularly a boon as well when you consider the build quality of the uh, A5 which is just you know out of this world absolutely fantastic I do like the G3's build quality uh, but you know compared to the fake uh, kind of metallic plastic look versus this really premium like uh, what do you call it uh, chamfering on the edge you know there's no contest there the, this does feel like a more premium device and look like it 
uh, and you're getting the performance as well so uh, very nice performance from the A5 and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button and uh, I will see you very shortly cheers